Take a look at this picture. It says it all right there. Amanda Berry beaming right in the middle after missing for 10 years, held captive. She was reunited with her sister last night, and that is her little girl right next to her, according to our station in Cleveland, WEWS. It was a night packed with emotion and drama. You see the people cheering right there. It all began to unfold before sundown in Cleveland. Yeah, they were literally cheering in the streets, George. And this is a map we want you to take a look at. Amanda Berry was 16 when she disappeared in 2003. Gina De Jesus vanished in 2004 at age 14. And Michelle Knight was 21 when she went missing in 2002. And you can see they were all found so close to the locations where they were abducted. We have complete live coverage of this unfolding story, starting with ABC's David Muir on the ground in Cleveland right now. Good morning, David. Good morning to you, Robin. And that's really the extraordinary thing that these young women who vanished as girls were so close by, just blocks away from where they disappeared from in the first place. This morning, they're here at the hospital behind me. They are free. They have been reunited with loved ones. But so many people here in this community focused on the young woman brave enough to break free from that home, call 911 and say to that dispatcher, I'm Amanda Berry. I've been on the news the last 10 years. This morning, this photo is the first image of Amanda Berry in the hospital right there in the middle, her sister to the left and a child to the right who police have not identified. It's the first time Amanda has been seen since the day before her 17th birthday. And this brave call to 911 was the first time anyone would hear her voice in more than a decade. Amanda Berry. You need police, fire, or ambulance? I need police. Okay, and what's going on there? I've been kidnapped, and I've been missing for 10 years, and I'm, I'm here. I'm free now. Yeah, I'm across the street. I'm using the phone. Okay, stay there with those neighbors. Talk to the police when they get there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> It was just before six in the evening when a neighbor, Charles Ramsey, heard screams from inside this house on his block. Inside, Amanda Berry, now 27, pounding on the door to escape. So I'm like, what's your problem? You, you stuck, just open the door. And she says, I can't, he got it locked. And I look how he has it, and it's only enough to reach a hand out to grab the mail and, you know, close the door. They tried to pry it open. It didn't work. So we had to kick open the bottom. Luckily on that door, it was aluminum. It was cheap. And she climbed out with her daughter. Authorities won't confirm it was Amanda's daughter, but carrying that child, Amanda runs. She makes that 911 call, and you can hear the fear that that man will return. We're going to stop him as soon as we get a car open. No, I need them now before we get them back. Moments later, she reveals something else. The girl Amanda told the police, I ain't just the only one. Within moments, police with guns drawn kick in the door. They come out with two other women. ABC News has learned authorities believe they'd all been tied up, that Amanda broke free. Gina De Jesus missing since she was 14, disappearing on her way home from middle school. And Michelle Knight, missing the longest since 2002. All of them rushed to the hospital. They're safe. We're in the process of evaluating their medical needs. Um, they appear to be in fair condition at the moment. Back on Seymour Street, police confirming to our ABC affiliate WEWS that they've arrested Ariel Castro, the man who's believed to live in that home, and the same man who Amanda Berry identified in that phone call to 911, along with his two brothers, who are 50 and 54. The swelling crowd, many of whom remember those little girls who vanished, their faces on those weathered posters, replacing all of that sadness with cheers. Among all the cheering and the honking overnight, there was one voice, though noticeably diff, uh, absent in this community, and that's Amanda Berry's mother. It's uh, known here that for years she retraced the footsteps of her daughter, trying to find her, her own health condition worsening. Uh, she did die, and many believe here she died of a broken heart, not knowing that 10 years after her daughter disappeared, George, that she would call 911 and say, I'm free.